productivity is of God, brethren, is what he blesses a work with. And God himself, he works too, and he always does where there's going to come fruit from it. His people are a part of and tap into this work of God. When you're doing what is his will, you'll find that you are bearing fruit. And it is his will that we do bear fruit. And our Lord, he is not a hard master. 1 Corinthians 3, 8. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. If we ask of our Lord a fish, he won't give us a serpent. Nor if we ask for bread, will we receive stones. Jesus said that even the world knows how to give its own gifts. So how much more does our Father give us good things? So this fruit that comes from him to those who he has chosen and ordained shall remain. It is a good fruit. So you may see, say that this fruit is solid. Fruits are for a benefit, to benefit the body. And the fruit from God, it won't lack the nutrition that it is purposed to give. This makes the child of God a receiver and a minister of this fruit. When the saints labor together, they benefit each other, giving each other their fruit and t partaking of the other one's fruit. How unsatisfactory it would be to labor hard for something and then not to be able to take hold of the reward afterwards and to keep it. But Christ, he's making our fruit to remain so that we can do this. And that is how we are satisfied. Fruit naturally grows in Christ. So in Christ, we are naturally satisfied. And our God, he is everlasting, so anything that is from him is too. The fruit isn't just something temporarily or only grown here during our hard times here, but it's going to extend on into eternity. Think of our treasures in heaven, Mark 9, 41. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Now that's fruit, that's your fruit, brethren. And we store it as often as we do our Father's will. Mm -hmm. Now in the parable of the talents, when the master returned, he didn't take away the talents that had prospered under the hand of his servants. Instead, he gave them much more and much better things. He didn't just strip away what he had given them before. He gave them even more according and added to that. So this fruit that we bear, it's not taken away from us, but it is ex expanded and expounded in us in which we can partake of even into the eternity and one final point that must be made is that there is no fruit where there is no husbandman it was because of the husband that we have fruit so we bear this wholesome fruit because we are in Christ because to be associated with him you must bear fruit Christ isn't unproductive we are proof of this Ultimately, we are proof of our Christ's labors, and he is rewarded when we, the saints, bear fruit. And not just here, brethren, but we're going to have a work in glory, so we're going to be bearing fruit there as well. So we see that bearing fruit, it's a good thing in the eyes of God. So in order to bear much fruit that remains, let us, brethren, sow to ourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, and break up the fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Amen. Amen. Amen.